watching First Coast News on your side at 6. Welcome back. Sunday, the Jaguars will play the first of back-to-back -back games in London for the second straight year. The Jags have been committed to playing in the International Series since 2013. Tonight, in part two of my exclusive conversation with Jacksonville Mayor Donna Deegan, we discuss how she's using her trip to London to brand our city internationally and what will be at the top of her agenda while she's there. First of all, I, I just want to show my love for Jacksonville and, and, and why I have that love for Jacksonville. Our people are the best. They just are. They're fabulous, wonderful people. And I've seen that for years, not only from when I was on the air, but from my philanthropic efforts with the race. I mean, the people that show up and show out for people that are, that are less fortunate just makes my heart want to come right through my chest. Jacksonville Mayor Donna Deegan expressing her love for Jacksonville, and she lays out how she plans to sell the city to the leaders in London. But I think, folks, you know, we got low taxes here, we're on the river, we're on the ocean, we, we, we have an interstate that runs through here that, that, that reaches most of the country. What's not to love? And so I think it's really just a matter of, of letting people know that this is a place that is business friendly, that is, that is a wonderful quality of life city. And frankly, I don't know that you're going to get a more beautiful city than this. Come here, set up shop, invest, grow your family, and, and, and help us be part of what Jacksonville can become. And, and it's, it's a pretty darn easy sell, Chris, honestly. It's just a matter of doing it. It's like anything else. Education is everything. Mm -hmm. And so if we can educate people about what a jewel we have in this city, people are going to come, and they are. Is there anything in particular you, you're trying to achieve in the second trip there? Yeah, I think we're I think we're very focused on trying to secure a, a round trip, um, a direct flight uh, to to uh, Europe. Uh, I think our hope initially was that was going to be a London a London flight. That's been put on hold a little bit simply because of some of the problems that um, that frankly that Boeing has had. Um, but I don't want to give away too much at this point. But I think we may have something real positive to share. Mayor Deegan also explained why Jags fans here on our first coast should not look at the team playing games there annually as a negative, but more so as an investment that allows the River City to be branded internationally. I would say find the positives in that. Um, it, it, it allows us to have this global audience. And, and frankly, the Jaguars have played pretty darn well in London. So I'd say, hey, hey, here's, here's my theory, Chris, to, to digress just a little bit. Here's my theory, okay? okay? Here's, and I'm sticking to it. We're doing last year in reverse. I got it. We're getting the losses out of the way early. I'll take it. And then we do the run of victories at the end. How about that? Finally, she wanted to ease any other concerns or fears. People worry when they when they think they, they see the popularity of the game over there. Look, the NFL has become popular everywhere. And and I just like just like, you know, European football has become popular over here. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's great to grow the sport, but but I think it's far more of a benefit to Jacksonville to have that global audience and what it does for us. Um, that outweighs any fear that I might have. Don't worry so much about the London games. It's a great opportunity. If you, if you have an opportunity with your family, go over there sometime and, 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 and see a game and, and, and see the atmosphere. But I think it's a good thing for Jacksonville. I really do. And be sure to join me and the entire Frisco Sports Team Sunday morning for our Ready to Roar pregame show. We'll take an in-depth look at Trevor Lawrence's performance last week. Plus, we're one-on-one -on -one with Jaguars wide receiver Brian Thomas Jr. and a whole lot more. That's this Sunday mor morning at 8.30 only on ABC 25. Then after our pregame show, keep it locked on ABC 25 as the Jaguars will square off against the Chicago Bears Sunday morning at 9.30.